all right so in this session we are going to talk about update operators uh, in the previous session we talked about query operators so query operators are the ones you use when you want to query your mongodb database for a particular set of documents that satisfy a particular condition okay so we use the find or find one methods okay on the collection object here collection struct and we use the query operators to query against the database uh, the query operators to match a particular condition okay now we also have a separate set of update operators and that's in the mongodb document as well update operators would definitely be uh, different than query operators so update operators would actually update your particular mongodb document with uh, the value that you specify all right so let's say if you have a slice then you want to uh, insert one more element to that slice right or if you want to let's say replace uh, the slice with a new slice right so that would be an update operation or if you have a salary or if you have any number in your struct anywhere then you want to increment it or if you have a price so you want to increment the price right or you want to give a discount or something so th those kind of things would actually show up here in the update operator so with update operators we'll also get a chance to see the update methods that are used against collection struct okay and we'll also see the delete uh, operation as well now delete operation doesn't require a delete operation doesn't have an, a, any specific delete operators uh, basically you just use the query operators uh, using query operators you find the documents that you want to delete and you invoke the delete method on it also for the update operators you actually use a combination of i mean you use both query operators and update operators so query operators for finding the documents that you want to update and then update operators to update those documents with a particular logic all right so that's what we'll see right now so you can see that i have a particular example here uh, we all know that the covid 19 pandemic has disrupted a lot of uh, industries and a lot of the industries that are selling products online uh, they, they are having second thoughts about you know having a separate uh, uh, fields of, uh, of their particular being essential or not right so those of uh, that they, they never had to think about their products like this but now they are actually they might be handling this kind of logic a lot of the online online retail show, stores have actually changed their uh, online portal to only let's just sell the essential products or something right and they would disable the products that are not essential to be sold and that must have required some logic on the application side but uh, you could also handle uh, logic like that in the database side you could just have a field that will represent if this product is essential or not all right so what i'm doing here is i'm actually having an update operator and it's the same as what we've done before but this time the name of the operator is set so uh, i have a map based on document here okay and its key is set the operator name and i'm going to uh, then uh, the, as as part of value it's another bison map document and it is going to have key as the field that i want to update and uh, the value is what value that particular field should have now is essential is not part of my struct here okay it's not part of my struct so ideally i should have it as part of my product struct here but is essential is not part of that but i just want to demonstrate that if you want to let's say add a particular uh, add a particular field to your uh, mongodb document that you can do easily uh on on you know if you compare it to the relational databases where uh, adding a column to an existing uh, database table and changing the schema is uh, doable but on the production database it, it's very complex and uh, it's kind of like a scary work you know but uh, in uh, a mongodb or document oriented stores that's not a problem okay so that's what i'm doing here i'm adding an F S is essential as uh, as a new field and i'm setting it to false right now and uh, so that is my update operator but i also have to find the documents where i have to add this okay but right now i want to add this field to every product in my mongodb database okay so now if you see that this update many method actually has uh, three arguments so first one is the context 
object okay second one is my query operator so that's my filter operator so that's going to find the documents that i want to update all right and the third one is my update operator so you can see that the first one is a context second one is the filter operator and here i have filter operator as base bison dot m it's it's just an empty operator that means that update every document that is there because all the documents in my collection are going to be products and i want all the products to have these essential field right now and i wanted to set it to false by default okay and then there there's this update uh, operator okay so that's what your update uh, op method update many method is going to take all right it's going to be update many because we'll be updating many uh, documents at the same time what i get as part of uh, the result is uh, uh, the updated uh, is, is going to be I think let me go back to so what I get uh, back is update result struct and that update result actually only has a couple of set of properties okay uh, you don't want to print uh, the the whole struct but you may want how many objects actually match this particular criteria and uh, what was uh, the modified count so you got some limited properties of course you can unmarshal it and get it to byte uh, and then that's, that's sort of uh, that's okay but uh, I'm just right now printing the modified count here okay so that is when you want to add or modify a particular field if you want to modify a particular field that is also possible so if i want to let's say modify the price that is also possible okay I'm, I'm just not doing it so price is my existing field okay and i'm just modifying it and let me just say actually i had is essential here let me just keep it in uh, small letters okay and uh, all right then uh so similarly you can set an existing field or you can create a new field right and that was against the field but what if you want to update and uh, update a field that is actually an array all right so i have one such array element the slice element i would say in my uh, struct uh, that is accessories and i want to add uh, let's say the manual some kind of handy manual to all my electronics products so that people know how to use it so what is the way to do that well um, i have this uh, uh, update filter again update uh, operator update filter so i have the bison map document it's got key as key it's got uh, add to set operator and this kind of operator is actually uh, applicable only for let's say array or slice kind of fields okay it's not applicable to all the fields but only the uh, fields that are of type slice all right and uh, then as part of the value i have another bison map document and this specifies that which particular field that you want to update okay and uh, what value do you want to append to it so add to set as the name suggests it's going to add to the set the slice that i already have so it's going to update my slice my accessories it's going to keep the existing value but it's going to add a new element to it and that's going to be manual in this case it's just a string all right so uh, because my accessory actually holds a string of uh, it is a value it, it holds strings right so that's why and uh, what i get as uh, as a result is actually again a result uh, and i'm reading the modified account property against it so again the same method update many context uh, query operator filter and update operator filter here okay so that's for field array and I just have one other example uh, just so things get more clear so I have uh, operator called multiplication okay so this one is going to change my price and it's going to increase it by 20% okay so based on map document mul operator as a key as a value another map document in that document i'm going to specify the field that i want to update and by what value by what multiplier 
okay so it's going to increase my value by 20 percent the price value and i'm just printing the matched count okay in the delete operation i have now let me save this in the delete operation i have delete many method and it it's just as good as uh, the find method so it takes uh, the context uh, as the first argument and the second argument is going to be the query operator so in this case a case i had the array of array filter and i also had array filter here so array filter is the one that i had in our previous example where i was finding all the products that actually has a charger as part of their accessories so that was the array filter that i use for updating all the uh, products that have charger with a manual okay i don't have a specific reason why i just want to show you an example and then the same thing i want to do here is i want to delete all the documents that have a charger in them okay but for now let me just comment this out and let me run uh, this uh, uh, file just as is all right so i'm going to run this and it's going to print a lot of other things from the previous session but you can see that the update operator for fields the so first one was uh, uh, for when you were, we are updating the field it updated all the three documents for the second one for the products that have charger in it it updated two document and for the multiplier it's actually increased the price of all the documents by all the products by uh, 20 percent and that applies to all the products because i had an empty query filter here so that applies to all the documents so when i come back here uh, you can see that in my products collection my array that has a my my pro uh, products that have a, a charger as one of the accessories i uh, have manual as well now Okay, so I think that's going to apply to the trimmer as well. And you can see that the uh, price has been increased. So this was 900, it's been increased by 20%. And so is uh, this, and so is this. All right, so that's what I did. And now I'm, uh, let me just delete this quickly again. It's easy peasy. All right, and uh, uh, let me comment this thing out so that you will actually get to see that uh, how many documents get deleted okay this too and uh, let me clear this up and let me run this again and this time delete operation also resulted in two documents getting deleted so when i go back to my document now open it up it's just got one document that is because the iphone and the trimmer had a charger as part of his accessories whereas this did not also, we failed. I failed to uh, pay attention to this one in the last uh, execution. So, its essential field also has been added to all the products. Okay. So, yeah. So that was our update operators, and uh, I think now we are at the point that we can go back to our uh, products application and use some of this code, and then start invoking REST API. And that will create products, update products, delete and uh, get products. All right. So I'll see you in the next session. Till then, see you.